Israeli airstrikes hit about 200 targets across Gaza today. The IDF announced it's expanding ground operations there. As Ivan Rodriguez explains, a UN agency says more than 80% of the people who live there have been displaced. Israeli ground forces are now operating in southern Gaza. We have entered a new phase in our war against Hamas. The IDF said Monday that they have hit hundreds of targets in Gaza just a day after they expanded ground operations to the entire enclave following the collapse of a truce with Hamas. And the humanitarian crisis in Gaza is growing as nearly 80 percent of the total population in Gaza is now displaced, according to the UN. If you look at Rafa, it used to have a population of 280,000 people. We know that there are over 700,000 people in the city now and more people are coming. The UN says the civilian death toll in Gaza is rapidly increasing. And the United States is stepping up pressure on Israel to protect more civilians as combat operations resume. I have repeatedly made clear to Israel's leaders that protecting Palestinian civilians in Gaza is both a moral responsibility and a strategic imperative. Israel maintains it is going out of its way to protect civilians. What we are doing is trying to get people out of harm's way. Uh, we are very attentive to what the administration and our military to military counterparts are telling us. The IDF announced on Monday that two soldiers were killed in combat in northern Gaza on Monday. This comes as Israeli military officials say their objectives in northern Gaza are nearly completed. We haven't defeated them totally militarily in the north yet, but we've made good progress. Ivan Rodriguez, WDRB News.